Hello, and welcome to Cube Plays Final Fantasy IX. Um, I've been talking about doing this for a while, and I did that one stream that was super... It was like a slideshow because the frame rate was so low. So now I'm finally doing it. I'm really feeling it. I want to play Final Fantasy IX, and I feel guilty if I just sit around playing Final Fantasy IX, so I'm going to do a let's stream, I mean a let's play, and see how people like it. Because I know a lot of people never played this one, especially you youngins, but it's very special to my heart, and it's very fairy tale ish. So, let's get right in there. Final Fantasy IX. So obviously this is the version on PC, so you've got all these nice high resolution menus and such. But... Oh yeah, I'm going to plug in my Xbox controller in a moment. But I've been having a bit of trouble with it, and I hear it's better if you plug it in after you can control the main character. So we'll see how that goes. But first, the cutscene. Alright, so, here's our dude. Sure is dark. Let's see if I can get my Xbox controller working. If not, I'll just use the keyboard for this first one. Yeah, it looks like I'll be using the keyboard. Oh wait, never mind. Haha. -ha. Guess nobody's here yet. Oh yeah, I guess I should be doing voices. What the- why is confirm B? And you can pick controls. Looks like I'll be having to do that. That's weird. Or, I mean, I guess that's the default for the Japanese controller config. Maybe I can work with that. I played some games in the Nihongo. Alright. I don't think I'm gonna do a weird voice for this guy or anything since he's the main character and we'll be talking a lot. Light the candle. Who's there? So as you might notice, um, the backgrounds are low res because apparently they didn't have those anymore so that they could give them the high res files for this port, but all the characters are high res, so it's kind of an interesting uh, little dynamic there. So his name is Zidane or Zidon. Apparently in Katakana it's Jitan. Um, that's very confusing for me, so I'm going to call him Qbert. Because I'm Cube. It's me, Qbert. try to avoid embarrassing, embarrassing myself every time I say his name. Hey, Qbert, sure are late. Sorry, so where's the boss? Ain't here yet. Oh no! It's a dragon. 
a real life Dorago. Ah, and our first introduction to the awesome battle music. This doth take me back. Oh yeah, so basically, uh, instead of being turn-based, this game has active time battle. Not too weird if you played some modern RPGs. Oh, can I steal anything from him? Yeah! I assume that's all he has. <laughs> Get some! Oh, Sin is straight up dead. I can't believe this dragon killed Cinna! You bastard! So something you'll notice that makes um, our protagonist a little different from other Final Fantasy guys in most of the games is that he's got daggers instead of a sword. Because he's a rogue type. Ooh, my head! Go easy, you guys! Oh, I never noticed in the original, but I guess he's a piggy man. I just thought he was a big guy. But there's a lot of animal people in this game. Hey, fools. You're looking a lot better. Hey, look, you got a piggy nose. Gwahaha. Alright, let's start this meeting already. That's my gruff man voice, I guess. Ah oh, yeah, look at our protagonist sitting like a like a cool guy. Oh, but not as cool as Sinnoh over here, is lounging sexily. Here's the plan. Tantalus, the infamous band of daring thieves, that's us, is heading to the kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission, to kidnap the heir to the throne, Princess Garnet. Looks exactly like her. I'll take it from here, so listen up. Our ship's about to dock at Alexandria. And when it does, we're gonna put on our costumes and perform I Want to Be Your Canary, the most popular play in Alexandria. Break a leg, Marcus, cause you're playing the lead. Leave the acting to me. Of course the real kidnappers will be Blank and Cupert. I don't know. He's, he's got like ogre teeth. I'll distract the audience from backstage with these little buggers. I can't stand Oglops. But I'll manage, so don't worry about me. And that'll be your cute Cubert. Okay, and that's when I kidnap Queen Brawny, right? You bet, you're gonna kidnap the fat-ass but ugly Queen Brawny. <laughs> Wait, what am I saying? Yeah, apparently if you do that a hundred times, someone will come in and chastise you, but we ain't got time for that. <laughs> so that's when I kidnap Princess Garnet, right? You bet, you're gonna kidnap the most babelicious beauty in all of Alexandria, Princess Garnet. Alright, calm down there, kid. She's probably like 12. Maybe like 17? It is the Middle Ages. You never know. And here is the most important precious Babu. One thing I love about the setting of this game is there's just all kinds of weird people and animal people and creature people walking around. Ah. Final Fantasy. Thank you very much, Mr. Sakaguchi. <laughs> I guess that's pre-rendered, even though it's with the in-game models. Oh yeah, the background characters are pre-rendered, but Vivi is obviously not. Alexandria! Are you alright? What kind of voice should Vivi have, I guess, like this? Here, you dropped your ticket. Bye-bye. Well, this is Vivi. He's the most important, because he's a sweet little precious babu. And he's just doing his best. Ow! Why, you, get out of my way. Little rat kid. 
Well, that's it for today. Time to get ready to see the play. Oh, there's a play I'm going to. Wow, nobles. Theodore with me. No, you're just kids. Whatever. I guess I'm a kid, but I also... I'm a black mage. See, look, this guy's just a penguin. Because why not? Honorable nobles of Trino, Capsule Alexandria is this way. Boop boop. And all the models are like kind of chibi, but of course they have big hands and stuff. I guess FF not FF7 was that way too. But this is the higher res version of that kind of style. So look at this guy. Looks like a guy I'd want to buy some drinks from. We'll sure be busy tonight, but it'll also be the last time we'll be so busy. Wait, the last time? You closing down? You'll notice a little icon. That means I can play cards with him. I don't know why I'm depressed. I have a ticket to see a great show. I should be happy. You know, sometimes you just got bad brain chemicals. I know them feels. Oh, I was trying to talk to her, but I got an item. I gotta get back to work. So, so is this place going out of business or what? Oh, thanks for the random items. I don't think I'll be playing any of the card game on the Let's Play. Maybe on a stream or something. Though I know that there's some items that you lose forever if you don't get them the first time. Especially cards. Nobles are so spiffy. <laughs> are they now? Wake up, sheeple. Wow, how'd you get a ticket for the show? You better head straight to the ticket booth in the square. You have to get your ticket stamped there before you can enter the castle. Is this a place I can go in? <gasps> it is. Ooh, an item shop. Good afternoon. I don't need any of this shit. I'm just a baby going to see a play. Silly. Actually, wait. Will I have this stuff after after everything goes down? Can I just buy antidotes? I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to buy three of them. I think that's what I need. Oh, I could probably use eye drops. Oh, well. That's meta gaming. I guess that's not really a problem on a Let's Play, but it feels wrong. So, ticket booth. Here's this guy. Is he like a. He's got horns, so I guess he's like a goat guy, but his face looks like a lion. He's just got a lot going on. Um, show ticket. I got a ticket. What's this? There's something odd about this ticket. Oh no. Why, it's another fake. I've seen so many today. No. Now, now, don't cry. I know how you must feel. Here, I'll give you these. Do try to cheer up now, hmm? Receive Goblin Card, Fang Card, Skeleton Card. So yeah, that's for that game. Talk to Alleyway Jack to learn more about cards. Good luck, lad. It's pretty fun. Okay, so here, I'll, I'll do this once or twice. Basically, yeah, you have to hit the... <laughs> the confirm button whenever you have the exclamation mark above your head and it gets progressively faster. I forget what the rewards are for- wait, I, I need to get this timing down. These little triplet girls. What? I guess if you hit it too fast then it won't let you do it the next time. Okay, what? Well, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm, I'm really concentrating. No, 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 it's cool, I got it. It's got it, I'm cool. There we go. So yeah, I'm sure you get something cool if you get like a uh, hundred of those, but whatever. I got a play to see. Well, here's an alleyway. Where's Jack? Blast it. Garn fabric. Dante. Hey, you make me miss you, little klutz. I don't know how that was my fault. You're kind of way up there. Well, it's been a long day. There he goes. Blame other people for his problems. That's right, kid. Hey, you shrimp. You're the one with the phony ticket, ain't ya? 
I saw the guy tell you it was fake. <laughs> Are you well anyway, Jack? Do I look like that loser? But I'll let you in to see the show if you become my slave. Well, what do you say? Uh, no. That's not right. Okay, later. Oh, <laughs> I, I just assumed he would force me into it. So yeah, obviously I played this game before, but uh, only as a kid. Though I, I, I have replayed this part. But I'm not gonna have everything memorized or whatnot. So, oh, there we go, there I'm running. Try not to drop your ticket, okay? It's not even real. You don't even know. My kitten Mittens ran away. Tell me if you see him, okay? Thanks. Oh, I can actually find Mittens? I don't remember. Them newfangled mispowered ships float through the air, but true ships are supposed to float on water, right, Sonny? Mm -hmm. My industry's going out of business. Gotta learn how to fly airships, buddy. <laughs> That's just something I can do for fun. Here's a bell. Alright, I guess I gotta go find that rat kid and agree to become his slave. Thanks, Final Fantasy IX. What? Can I go in there? What is this place? Can I get some ridiculous small amount of gill from under the bed? <laughs> that was a ridiculous small amount of gill. This cute little house. Well, since I said no, I don't know where to find him. Oh my god, I've broken the game already. What have I done? Oh yeah, here's here's the knights of this kingdom. As you can see, the girls wear these like onesie leotards that are all goofy. A lot of the custom designs for this are... I like them, but they're very goofy. But I think they're goofy in a good way. Though the female eyes are kind of ridiculous. What do you mean there's no vacancies? Yes, you see, really quite sorry. What? I don't believe this. I have a reservation, damn it. Jeez. Yikes. City people are so scary. Some kind of fish man. I love him. Look at him. He's smoking a pipe. That's bad for you, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's, he's straight up called fish man. Sorry, no vacancies today. No vacancies today. Busy, busy. Look at the little hippo girl. Out of my way, please. It's back here. Nothing. Oh, God. Oh, God. She's trapped me. Oh, thank God. Dun, 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 dun. What's this? Hey ho! That's a weapon shop. I keep telling my son we'll go out of business, but he never comes home. Yeah, apparently everywhere's going out of business. Was well, Smithery synthesis? I'm taking my wife to the theater tonight, so we shall close soon. Married for 30 years, working our rear ends off, and finally we can afford to take it to the show. I'm so happy. Yeah, you look, you look very happy. I'm so happy. My marriage is amazing. Oh, hey, here's some of those spiffy nobles. The blossoms in Alexandria are quite splendid, don't you think? Wait, real quick, I'm going to go see if Alleyway Jack is there now. Or whether I have to actually see him go through the alleyway. Yeah, arg. We gotta meet Alleyway Jack, because he's cool and he has four arms. Like all cool guys do. The controls are kind of weird. Oh, he's just back here. He's very desperate for help. 
<laughs> you know you want to be my best friend, you little goof. Awesome, now for your first assignment. You gotta go stand over there and see if anyone's coming. All clear? I don't know, I can't see around the pre-rendered background. Awesome, engage according to mission parameters. Oh, ship, 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 ship. Ah, here's, the, here's my guy. See, he's got four arms. Cause why not? Um, excuse me, but is your name Alleyway Jack? Huh? How do you know my name? If you know who I am, you probably want to challenge me to a card game, huh? A children's card game. What? You don't know how to play? And you want me to teach you? Well, why not? I finished one job already. Follow me, kid. Oh, I forgot he actually takes you over here. Alright, so you can see some of the basics of this. You need five cards to play the card game. To play a game, approach someone and press X. Some people may not be interested. In that case, move on to someone else. Do you understand now? Yeah, in the original game it didn't show that little icon that showed that you could play cards with someone, so you just had to kind of guess by mashing whatever button on people square. Um, yeah, I'm not going to listen to all this. Oh, he'll tell me his real name if I get better, huh? Thank you. Very mysterious, Mr. Jack. And he also has a thing completely over his eyes, so I don't know how he sees. Blink is like that, too. Very mysterioso. I'm just wondering if there's just some people that don't have eyes. He traded in his eyes for extra arms. It's a weird economy. Now we're gonna climb up this tower. It's very dangerous. You go first. You're a bully. I've had lots of experience with you in middle school. Ah, <laughs> what the heck was that? It's a Moogle Koopo! You look just like my cat. Sorry about that, Koopo! That's Koopo. He's a Moogle. It's very confusing that his name is also Koopo. And this is slave number one. <laughs> Try to get along, okay? Koopo, pleased to meet you! I'm sorry, I enter you in Moogle Diary. Wait, I sorry, I enter you in Moogle Diary. Where are you from? <laughs> if you want to save game onto save folder, just ask us Moogles, Koopo. And you can regain health if you have a tent, Koopo. You understand? I gotcha. Gotta get up, Koopo. Alright, time for some upward mobility. It's pretty impressive, honestly. Not gonna lie. Okay, come on up, slave. Stiltskin. Koopo, you here? Koopo, Stiltskin, why that get up? You leaving, Koopo? Yeah, and this time I might be away for a long time. I'll miss you, Koopo. Now don't you worry, I'll write. Okay, Koopo. Well, I'm off. Take care. Oh, and say hi to Mosh in the castle for me. Very mysterious, Moogle. He comes and goes like the autumn wind. Was that a friend of yours? Yes, Koopo. A very special one, Koopo. Hey, slave, I thought I ordered you up here. So I am going to go ahead and save. And then I will make sure that this recording worked and everything's going okay. And then that'll be the first video. We're just getting started on our little adventure. I don't, I don't need this save file. Screw that one. So I will see you next time, assuming this all worked. Wink.